I'm Natasha Tracy, and I'm a writer here at Healthy Place. And today I want to take a moment and talk to you about cognitive dysfunction in depression. So cognitive dysfunction is talking about how you think what you think and the negative impacts that depression has on how you think what you think. Cognitive dysfunction in depression happens in five areas. It happens in memory, in concentration, in psychomotor skills, in brain processing speed, and as well as decision making. So you can see this cognitive dysfunction in people in many different ways. So for example, something that happens to me is I quite frequently suffer from aphasia. And aphasia is the really common problem of essentially having a word on the tip of your tongue. You know there's a word that you want to say, but you just can't find it. Well, this does happen to everyone, of course. I find that it happens much more frequently when I'm depressed and is much more severe the more severe the depression is. Another way, for example, that's really common with people with a severe depression is psychomotor processing. And this basically is the way your body and your brain acts together. So the actions that you produce and the brain thinking that is required in order to produce those actions. And what you can see in people with severe depression is often they are extremely slow. Their movements are extremely slow. Their thoughts come extremely slowly. They look like they're stuck in molasses. And from the inside, I can tell you it feels like every movement is so difficult and so painful that it just takes all of your might to do all of it. And so everything comes out as being very, very slow. And for me, something else that happens is I have trouble with decision making, also very common. And people think of trouble decision making, having trouble making a huge decision, like buying a house. Well, that's a pretty big decision and anyone might have a problem with that. But I, for example, have problems with decision making when it comes to opening my mail. <laughs> I have a hard time deciding what to open, when to open it, what to do once I open it, if it's a bill, do I pay it, do I have the money, and so on and so forth. So for me, opening mail just represents this huge number of decisions that I have to make. And so I find it very, very difficult due to the cognitive dysfunction that I experience in depression. So basically, in short, you can experience not just problems in the way that you feel with depression, but also biologically in the ways that you think. Thank you.